hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for your love and your support to my channel so this is a goosey soup with assorted meat dry fish uh, stock fish orishirishi inside although i have a goosey recipe on my channel already but this is the first goosey soup i will make in 2020 so i just want to share with you guys how i'm making it so let's start cooking mm, smells so good So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to soak my egusi first. This is my egusi. It's inside the bottle. You know, it's sent to me from by my mother, all the way from the Republic of Benin. So what I'm going to do, one thing I like, as you guys can see, the egusi is nice and clean. My mom actually picked this egusi and washed it and dried before sending it to me. So the way it is, I don't even have to rinse it before I cook it. Anyway, because the agusi is so dry, and the kind of recipe I want to do is, you know, I prefer to use blended agusi already, the one that, the powdered agusi, but because I don't have it, and I don't want to buy the one that already blended, since I have agusi here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to soak this for, I don't know, till I'm ready to cook it. So guys, my meat is ready. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take out the beef. I'm going to take out the shaki and the cow foot. I'm going to go and cut it. I don't want the bone in it. So I'll show you guys how I'm doing it. And I'm also boiling kidney. This is kidney. Can you guys see it? I didn't want it to boil it with the meat because of the smell and all this i don't know i don't just like boiling it with meat i prefer to boil it separate because i don't use the stock for my cooking but the rest of the meat i'll be using the stock so i'm just boiling that so these are the rest of my ingredients in here that is spinach uh, it's a fresh spinach i bought and i pick and i rinse it and I chop it, I put it in the freezer so that for a purpose like this, I don't have to be buying fresh spinach and be chopping. It just make my life easier. So I brought it out from the freezer, that is it. And I also have stock fish, this is stock fish. What I did earlier with this stock fish, I add hot water and a bit of salt and I soak it for about three hours. This is not necessarily, you can just boil it with your meat or anything. But I don't like boiling mine with my meat. So what I normally do, I normally soak it inside hot water for a few hours before I use it. In that way, it's always soft and, you know, clean at the same time. So I also have dry fish. It's not a lot though. This is catfish. It's dry fish all the way from Nigeria. And you can use any dry fish. It doesn't have to be catfish. So I also have the sweet red long pepper, I have scotch bonnet, I have onions, and I also have locust beans, which is known as irupete. I'm also going to be using palm oil. Can you guys see palm oil? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you guys the agusi. So this is the agusi I soaked earlier. It's nice and soft. So if your egusi is too hard, you just soak it for a few hours. So this egusi has been soaked for at least about five hours now, guys. I have soaked it because I soak it in the morning and this is evening. I want to start making dinner. So that's it. So I've put my egusi in the blender and I've added a little bit of water and I'm going to blend it now. I'm going to add palm oil. Not that much of palm oil. So now guys, I have my chopped onions. I'm going to add to the agusi. And I'm going to continue blending. So my goosey is finished blending. I'm going to add to the palm oil.
I'm going to pour some water and rinse. So this is my pepper, my scotch bonnet, and the sweet red long pepper and onions I washed. And I've taken out the seed of the sweet red long pepper. I've cut my onions as you guys can see. So I'm going to pour it in the blender I'm going to be blending. And I didn't use the whole three pepper because I feel like it might be too spicy. So I'm only blending two. I'm going to add water. And I'll blend this. Let's blend. I'm going to close this to cook for another five more minutes. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the pepper that I blend. I'm going to mix all that together. I'm going to pour a little bit more of palm oil. And to tell you guys, um, I have a, a lot of different ways how I make my goosey soup. So this is one of it. So I'm going to add the stock fish. And this is the stock, the meat stock. I'm going to be adding the stock. So I'm going to close it to cook and I'll be back. So this is my cow food. As I said, I'll be taking out the bones. It's optional. You don't have to take out the bone if you don't want to but I'm taking out the bone and the fat you guys see there's so much fat <laughs> left to me I don't really like um, this cow food I prefer cow skin but because my husband like it so much you know I know what they say whatever your husband like you have to be cooking it it's not all about me anymore I'm just taking on the meat out so I don't want the bone I remember when I was back in Nigeria this all this fat that I'm cutting oops all this fat that I'm cutting this is the yummiest part when you cook rice and have it with rice it's always so yummy but as we are growing there are a lot of things that we have to avoid you know I'm also going to dice the meat because they cut it a bit too big for me. Also have shaki. So guys, my kidney is also ready. So what I did, I put it inside the, this bowl and I rinse it off because of all those uh, brown stuff. I don't know. So I rinse it off. So I'm going to also dice it because it's a bit too big for me it's a long time i've cooked kidney most of you witness it that i don't really <laughs> put kidney in my food 
so i just decided to put it my family love it they love it not just like they love it but i avoid cooking all this kind of meat but today i just decided you know to make it with the egusi soup so this is all my meat ready okay this has been boiling for the past about 20 minutes now so what i'm going to do i'm going to add my locust beans my iru going to mix together everything is going to break so don't panic about that, that oh janet you didn't even break it you just dump it inside once it start boiling everything will, you know so now i'm going to add my meat Now I'm going to add my fish. This is my dry fish. As you guys can see earlier, I did not show Maggi or salt or aromant. I don't think I'll be adding Maggi because I use enough seasoning to boil the meat and I use the meat stock. But I'm gonna taste it for salt. Let's taste it for salt. Mm, it's sweet but it needed salt so instead of salt i'll be adding aromat mm, it tastes so good especially with the the aromat of the iru you don't want too much because aromat contains salt so if you don't have aromat don't worry you can use salt okay so I'm going to close this to cook for about 15 minutes and we'll be back to check on it in 15 minutes time so guys this I've been cooking for the past 20 minutes now so you guys can see so what I'm going to do I'm going to add my spinach and normally when I cooking fresh spinach or fresh or frozen I normally add hot water and salt to rinse it off but this time around, I'm just going to cook it like that. I'm not going to rinse it off. If you guys have been watching my video, <laughs> you know why I did not rinse it off. So I'm going to miss all that. And as you guys can see, there's not, enough, um, there's not too much oil. If you think uh, the oil is not enough, I mean the palm oil, you can... Um, you can add it more to make it a bit more red but left to me i like it like this or you can add more you can blend uh, more, enough pepper to make it red or you can add paprika just to give it that redness but this is the color i want it's okay by me so as i add the spinach like that i'm not going to cook it i'm not going to cook it any further because it's ready i don't want the spinach to overcook you guys see so my goosey soup is ready that's that thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.